What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Jay Real at the Real Hip Hop Show, where hip hop is everything and everything is hip hop, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. I always tell y'all this, man. But it's all good, man. Support your local artists. You know what I mean? Shout out to the whole team at Extreme Radio. Everybody, y'all all know who you are. But speaking of Extreme Radio, I got my homie. You know what I'm saying? My 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 big brother. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I wanted to bring him in here with me today so we can have us a nice little convo. You know what I mean? About hip-hop. What's up with hip-hop? You know what I mean? It's my homie, Big T from Extreme Sports. Big T, say what up, man. What up, fam? What's going on? What's good? Already, already, man. But um, how you doing, man? You good? You doing all right? You know what I mean? I'm feeling great. Uh, we're not working tonight. We snuck out. We pulled one on on them tonight. <laughs> I know, chill. right? <laughs> yeah. I'm, but you know what? If, if you want to be technical, we still working. You know what I mean? We, we working on yeah, that. Yeah, we still so working. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. We still we still we still doing extreme radio things. Oh yeah, most definitely. Matter of fact, man. Before we even get into it, you know what I mean? Let everybody know about, you know what I'm saying, extreme sports, man. Because I'm always bragging about y'all, man. So I'm going to let you brag about yeah. y'all now. All right. Extreme sports with your boy, yours truly, Big T, King C's, Marvelous Matt. All right. We bring you all the updates uh, from NBA, uh, NFL. Uh, we do golf. We do anything, any news, anytime, anywhere. We do breaking news. We your lo- hey, you are J Real is your local supporter of hip hop music around. We your local supporter around the east, all around the world. Hey, we the idea of extreme radio and people didn't know was created years ago by me and my wife. So um, I had the idea. And we brought it together to because when I was in high school, I was an athlete, and I felt like kids weren't getting a lot of recognition around our area, and um, just certain kids was getting you know choked, and we had some tremendous athletes that won't make it. So I just caught up with this idea some years later, and just I just wanted to bring that to the forefront. It got bigger than I thought. And hey, that's what Extreme Radio is, is presented. We bring you everything from local sports, high school, anything that we can talk about. We, we put it on the table. That's what it is, man. Shout out to Extreme yeah. Sports, man, for real, man. Because y'all really, like, y'all really do be on it. You know what I mean? So I, I can't even yeah. front, man. You know, and I really like the fact because y'all, you know what I'm saying? The way y'all try to, you know, like put a spotlight. You know what I mean? On like, you know, LeBron and all of them and everybody. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But. You know, I like how you right, try to put a spot his name, on. His uh, name is Baby Bron Bron. His <laughs> name is Baby Bron Bron. Oh, well, well, excuse me, Baby yeah. Bron <laughs> Baby Bron <laughs> Bron. Yeah, he, he does like to cry a little bit, don't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I love what y'all doing over there, man. So, you know what I mean? I, I really like how, you know what I mean, y'all focus on, you know what I mean? Y'all y'all get the true stats and, and y'all true opinion. Which I think a lot of people don't do that with they, especially with they with they uh sports shows, because it's a lot of you know yeah. what I'm saying. They don't want to tell the truth. They just want to be nice about it. Yes, yeah, I appreciate that. So that's how you got to be. You know, you got to be honest about it. You know, baby Brown Brown ain't the only one. <laughs> so it's many more. But hey, that's how that's what we do. <laughs> so well, okay, well we're gonna talk about sports for just a second, then we gonna get into hip hop. But I want to ask you a question. Man. All right. Do you think my OKC Thunder are going to get past the Utah Jazz? Actually, yeah. I really feel, looking at them playing ball the other night, and um, I think we talked about this when they first got the I think it was our first, their first game, me and you were talking about, I said, shoot, I, I, they, can, they can do that thing. Yeah. But they have to come together. And the way they played the other night, they played together. Yeah. So, it just needs to be a. I think they can. I think they will move probably to. They probably can get to the uh, the second round. Now, when they meet Houston or Golden State, we will see. Yeah, I'm I, not gonna speak on it, but we will see. You know what? I will, because you know, you know, I'm a big Carmelo <laughs> Anthony fan. But you know what I mean? I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I can see us getting past that first round, but like you said, man, if, if we run into Houston, you know, Golden State, any one of those guys, man, I. I don't want to put us down because, you know, I got to root for my squad regardless. But I just, right. I, 
it, it'll be tough for us to get past them, man. I'm gonna be honest. That's right. That's right. Exactly. That's, 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 so, well, okay. Well, let me ask you this real quick. Who you think is gonna take the NBA Finals? Man? I'm looking at Houston, actually. Uh, but hey, and people might think I'm crazy. Uh-huh. I'm really looking at Philly to sneak this in. And people not looking at Philly. Hey, hey, Philly, look. Philly, they, they they slept on. They really sleeping on Philly. Yeah, they yeah, slept on. I'm looking at how they play together. Yeah, they caught an L the other night, but you you didn't have your main star, right. Embiid, in there. True. But you get Embiid in that combo with everybody playing together, you got some talent down there. True. So I'm I'm looking at them to sneak in there. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm making a bold prediction. I know people don't like that. I know people in love with David Ron Ron and things like that. So, but hey. So you think you think Philly can down. beat you think Philly can beat the Cavs in a four game, uh, not a four game, but a seven oh, yeah, game series? Oh yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Only one you got is LeBron. Yeah. Uh, Philly got uh, MB, Ben Simmons, uh, their bench, JJ Reddick. They got their whole bench can play. True. So that, yeah, true. <laughs> somebody in trouble. Yeah, that's true. I think it'd be a great series though if that happens. Yeah. But shots gonna, fired. Somebody in trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody is in trouble. I'm going to do a shots fired just for the homie Big T, man, because I know he loves it, so I got to do it for him one good time. Another, another shot fired. Shots fired. <laughs> no doubt, man. But um, that's what's up, man. Like I said, man, I really appreciate what y'all are doing over there, and y'all just, you know, holding down for a stream radio, man. But um, let's, let's, let's get into some hip-hop, man. Let's get into some right. hip-hop, man. I know... Now, I know, don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? I know, you know what I mean, you, you like the old school flavor and everything, but matter of fact, yeah, let's, right. talk, let's talk about the old school then, man. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Let's talk about, what, 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 like, put some of the youngins on, man. Let, let some of the youngins know about the old school, Big T. I know you can and tell you know, uh, you know, like, uh, you know my cousin, Imperial. Yeah, peace to the God. Uh, yeah, he came from New York, and he was like, um, he, was, he came to stay with us when I was like, Whew, 10 years old, something like 10 years old. He can't stay with us for a little while. I'm like, right. I knew hip hop, but I didn't know much, much about it. Right. So he's very mixed tapes from Run DMC Live. Word. Uh, yeah, word. And I'm like, word. And then, you know, you just sitting there, you're a kid, like, okay. Uh, uh. Uh. And when LL uh, first came on the joint that I knew him, when I'm bad. I like, I like this cat, you know, with the Kango hat, he, he's cool. Yeah. I always felt like, um, and he could tell you this, we used to call him LL Word. back in the days. So he, <laughs> <used to break, laughs> he, <used to, laughs> he used to wear the suits. He used to have the suits. He came from New York. Right. So he used to wear the suits like LL. He had the Kango hat. He right. had the sneakers, different sneakers and things like that. And I never heard, yeah, that's when I got to really, oh, he really brought me on to hip hop a lot. You know, that's crazy. That's, that's, that's crazy, yeah. man. Because my mom's, my mom's has always been a big LL fan, but my mom's, yeah. is, a, my mom's is a woman, so you know why she liked LL. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. I, I, I love you, Mom Dukes. I love you, but, you know. So she made us yeah. be LL fans, of course, also, because my mother loved LL. I remember, uh, yeah. When I was a kid also, man, having the Kangos, man, I thought it was the coolest thing yeah. in the world, man. So exactly. that's what's up, though. So you really, yeah. so you you heard the, the Run DMC tapes, the real tapes? The real tapes. He oh, had the real man. tapes. I think, and I think it was like live. He got like, he said it was like, it was, a, it was a, if I can remember correctly, I got to talk to him because it's been so long. Right. It was in a, uh, he, he, bought, he had a big boom box. You know, big boom joints, box back in the day. Joint. Yeah, school joint. Yeah. You know, like, you know, he used to play it live because, you know, you had cursing in it. And I couldn't hear what certain mouth because my grandmother raised me and oh, yeah. she'll, she'll look at you, give you that eye. Oh, yeah, man. Shout out to all the grandmothers, <laughs> man, that kept us in line. Yeah. So I feel you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, she gave you that eye. But, you know, he, uh, you know, it was like in the uh, club and stuff like that. It was live. Mary, sure. Mary. Um, Everything, run, you know, um, tricky, and it was just, that was just, you know, that was that was back in the days. That was good, oh, yeah, good hip hop music, yeah. And so, like I said, he bought he, he bought me a to LL and things like that. No doubt, hey man, that's that's super dope, man. I mean, because yeah. you know, with 
like I was I was born in the eighties, you know what I mean, the early eighties. So yeah. you know, when a lot of that was going on, I was a child myself. You feel me? So yeah. it's it's so great to hear those type of stories, you know what I mean? Because I think that's yeah. so dope. But okay, let me ask you this, man. Tell the people, okay, who's your your favorite rapper of all time? Who is Big T's favorite rapper ever? It doesn't matter who it is. Who's your favorite rapper, period? My biggest, I got a tie. Eric B and Rakim and Big Daddy Kane. Okay, okay. Our true Big Daddy, Eric B and Big Daddy Kane fan. You know, oh. you heard not know the lead, you know, everybody, I told you, I know the lead, yeah. a microphone scene. Yeah, uh, man. Uh, Big Daddy Kane ain't no half-stepper. He was the one of the smoothest, ch- you know, Oh, you know, you man. got going yeah, chocolate, yeah. cause yeah, he was, he was one of the smoothest chocolate dudes around. And I used to like hack go to after uh the box, just like uh Big Daddy and things oh. like that. I was a true Big Daddy fan. Ain't no hair stuff came out. Eighty eight. So I was like, word, you know, you go uh you, your MT raps used to stay number one. Word. Do you remember your MT raps man on uh, Fair Five Freddy? Um it was just real hip hop. It was real music. It was not like, oh, uh, it, it, it just it, like it like, wasn't all about the money like it is now. You know what I mean, so yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they yeah. was just rap. It wasn't about killing. It was just real music. It was just like you you can dance to. You go in the club. Uh, I want no club guy. I went to. I can tell you, I've been to a club like three times in my life. No doubt. Probably. And that's, yeah, it's hard to parties for friends and stuff like that. Well, when you play that, you played that back in the days, people went crazy. And, um, yeah. you know, yeah, they went crazy. And that's that was real up. music. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So, okay, from, you know, the, the, the things that you hear, you know, radio-wise or on the Real Hip Hop show or whatever, you know, how do you feel about, you know, like the new stuff or the new style and the new things that's going on in hip hop? How you, how do you kind of see that? You don't understand it. And, um, <laughs> and that's and like, I'm going to be real. And I told, I mean, you talked about that. Yeah. When you uh, you put out, put out your first show with uh, the J Real Hip Hop Show, big, big shout out to J Real. We need a thousand, we need a thousand likes tonight, ladies and gentlemen, so let's do this. Oh, but yeah. anyway. <laughs> no doubt. But, uh, when you put your first show out, and like I was telling you, um, like Rich Homie, Quan, people like that, you can't understand that. What's that? You just style. Hey, people go back and look at uh, uh, Brown Sugar, the movie Brown Sugar with T.D. and uh, and they the movie was about him. That, that was had, a dope movie. I love it's that. Movie. Lazy. Yeah, go back and look at that, and look at those cat that he got signed. They uh the the hoe is mine. <laughs> and that was that yo that was, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. But think about hip hop now and what and people get signed and, and making money. That's what's money. going on. Oh my god! You oh, know what? Yeah. I did not look at it like that, yo. Yeah. Wow! I, I swear look, to God, bro, I didn't even look at it like that. But damn, that's true. But but look at it from that point that that came out and you hear the music from behind that to the music now and people wow. getting fired and they making money wow them like yeah so we like wow that's that's crazy so let me ask you this then because i i get into a lot of debates you know what i mean with like a lot of um cats that's younger than me right so what mm-hmm. do you think that you know what i'm saying like i mean i know it's all opinionated but what you think hip-hop need to get back to you know what i'm saying Realization. Um, a lot of people uh, come like you see. Look at a whole lot of old rappers. A whole, whole lot of old rappers go somewhere where we live and rap about things that happen to them and what you're not be. Some people going on a uh, 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 little jet already, and right. you ain't made no money. Like, where, like, like, <laughs> where's the where's the music for the everyday person? You know what I mean? I feel that's you, man. right. Cause we can't yeah, relate to no drop no tops and G fours and you know yeah. I mean? we can't relate to the, all, all of that. So I feel you, yo. Yeah, and some some of y'all are very very lucky because you got a good businessman that got you on, and um, you got to you very very lucky. So go to the reservation or uh, look back at old hip hop right. and look at Bismarck Bismarcky Vapors. Right. Oh, yo, that's a classic. That, oh, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that's a classic. But and look they at what the he talked about. Oh, man. Yeah. For real. I see. Wow. Yeah, when people so went real. through and had to hit film and stuff like that. Look at the documentary on Nelly. If right. you go back and look at that. Nelly was selling his records for his uh, his trunk. Yeah. You know, you, yeah, don't see, so you don't see a lot of people doing that no more. That's right. That's exactly right. Because so, I think... I think that social media and all of that, you know what I mean? Now everybody yeah. just put their music online and say, check me out. That's it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's how you, you know, people is not real no more. True. And people getting let, if, if people are getting real late, it's who you know. And some, and like I said, I'm going back to what you're talking about your show. And uh, like we were talking about, I was sitting there that night and I tell my wife, my wife know this. I do not listen to the baby music of hip hop. We used to, uh, we used to, uh, when we used to close the store, I used to work for Taco Bell. We used to close the store to play music. Right. And all the cats were younger than me, and they knew who this person was, that person was. Oh, shit, that's the shit. That's this, that's that. And you listening like, like, what is this? They, yeah, what is I can't understand him. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, y'all shit. going on, uh, yeah, tell me what he said. <laughs> well, are there, um, is there, like, any... You know what I mean? Like what you would call new school, especially for you. I know it's a lot of, it's new school, especially. But um, are there like any new school rappers that you can listen to and be like, yo, that actually sounds pretty good? Chance the Rapper, J. Cole. Oh, yeah. J. Cole's J. Cole music. J. Cole, yeah. Uh, yeah, yo, we talked about it last night. But J. Oh, yeah. Cole music, J. Cole music has been, uh, he, I can put him as a old school Jay-Z kind of type rapper. Okay. You know, but, but he knew school. He knew school because he he flow. His flow is good. His, right. He's not over. He you can understand everything he's talking about. You know, I looked at his live special on HBO. I'm like, yeah, shit. And it was and it was oh. dope, right? It's dope, right? Yeah, it was dope. Yeah, yeah. Man. I it think was that, dope. You know what? I think that um, rappers like J Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Chance the Rapper. You know what yeah. I mean? And a lot of other great artists that are. Um, considered new school rappers you know what i mean i think yeah. they, like you said I mean, they, they kind of get they, but they get overlooked because their music makes sense yeah now i had to catch on to kendrick lamar because i really didn't know who he was that much i probably heard a lot of his songs and like who is this kendrick lamar yeah and I, <laughs> yeah so i just really recently started catching on to who he is you know really no doubt but I understand that, yeah. yo. You know what I'm saying? See, what I'm doing right here is, is that's why I'm glad me and you having this conversation. Because it's like, we got to bridge the gap. You know what I mean? Between like old school mm-hmm. and new school. Because nowadays, it's all, it's, it's, we got this old school versus new school. And I don't think that yeah. should be the case. I think it should be more of this is all hip hop and hip hop has evolved. But at the same time, like you just said, man, we got so much hip hop where you hear it and like, what is this? Yeah. Exactly. What? So, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So and I'm looking at and you looking at young cats and they like they bobbing their heads like oh shit and they're like throwing their hands up and I'm like like what is what is this crap? For what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for you know what? what though? That's, that? you know, so that's that be my thing though. See, that's the reason why you know what I mean I made the real hip hop show because yeah. I, I want people to know about you know what I mean the underground artists. You know what I mean? Because, you know, the movement is support your local artists. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I feel like a lot of these radio stations, Kiss 102, hint, hint. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kiss 102, <laughs> y'all don't want to play the local artist music, and I don't understand why. Do you think um, Kiss 102 should be playing local artist music, man? Yeah, they should have a segment for local artists. Hit, hit. Uh, Kiss 102, certain right. people, we ain't calling right. names out. Well, we, they know who they are, though. I can guarantee you that. They know who they are. Because, we, yeah. it, it may, it, like, this is my thing. I know a lot of um, local artists, right, that's from the street and that's still in the street. Yeah. And a lot of them, they spend, they're trying to spend more time in the studio than in the streets. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So you'll get these radio stations, Kiss 102, and a lot of y'all from wherever y'all are from that don't want to play the local artist music. But if you don't, re- if you realize and pay attention, if you play these artists' music, it'll make them stay focused more on on what they're doing. So therefore, they'll stay yeah. out the streets as much and stay in the studio more 
and that that would kind of help to kind of kind of help some of the crime go down. You feel what I'm saying? So, man, yeah, like, come on, man, support your local artists, man. Exactly, exactly, exactly. It don't. It, uh, it, it, I'll, it's crazy. Go ahead, man. I'll ask you a question because I just had something just popped in my head. I think about what Kiss One Two were talking about the other day. Okay. Uh, they had a, a conversation about the women rappers now between Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, and stuff like that. Let's uh, go back. Let's go back in hip hop because uh, hip hop was very strong in the eighties and early nineties with women rappers. Yeah, real big. And one. compare them to Nicki and uh, Cardi B. Cardi B now. You had Roxanne Chante, uh, Salt and Pepper on this. Uh, Word, yo. People, pe- people don't remember JJ Fad. True. Uh, Supersonic. Uh, Supersonic, yo, that uh, was hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was hard. Foxy Brown. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were legends. And uh, you... Queen Latifah. Yes. Classics. Yeah. Classic. Classic. Uh, MC, L- L- MC Light. MC Light, Lauren Hill, Rod Digger. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, Rod Digger. And Rod, you know, and see that's yeah. If people don't know the history, Rod, Rod Digger probably have been one of the greatest rappers. I don't know what happened yes. with that. I don't know what happened with that, but I just loved her sound. Yeah, man, Rod Digger was dope. But you know what? Yeah. Um, I, I think that, um, in, in my personal opinion, you feel me? I think that a lot of okay, let's keep it real. When it comes down to a woman, right? We just want to look at her, right? Like yeah. we we want to say, oh, it, do she look good? But it don't yeah. matter. Do she sound good? It's, it's, it's you know what I mean. Like for instance, yeah. I'm gonna put you on to this, and I'm gonna send you some of her music. But we got a um, female MC named Rhapsody. She from Snow Hill. You know we from North Carolina. Okay. She from Snow yeah. Hill. She was signed by Jay Z. Okay, she on Rock Nation, okay. and she has two Grammy nominations. Her album is very dope. But nobody said anything about it because she ain't talking about shaking her butt or she ain't getting butt naked or half naked. You know what I mean? So uh, <clears throat> I don't I feel you because I feel you because I don't like that. You know what I mean? Like why the females got to be half naked to sell? Come on. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's whack. Yeah. But I, I'm going to put you on to that rap scene, though. Okay. Cool, cool. I heard, of, I heard of her. I heard people talk of her. So, oh yeah, so, I'm gonna send it know, to you though, cause yeah. I know, I know you got Apple Music, so I can send you some of yeah. her music. And I, I and, and, and like I said, G, she from Snow Hill. That's down the street from where we all from. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So it's it's more relatable to us. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like you just said, bro, I think it's it's, it's so crazy, man. Like, why? It's, it's do you think that uh, the females feel like they got to do that to sell now? Because, you know, yeah, like Queen Latifah, MC Light, and all of them, they yeah. actually would give us it's the st- talent. Yeah. It started with Little Kim. When they brought Little Kim Thank out you, like that. That's what I it's, see. Yeah. Yeah. Little Kim started like that, and it just going to, it's, it was like competition thing. Now I'm looking at everybody was doing it. Nikki done it. Carter done it. And True. everybody was doing it. But you look at back in the 80s and 90s, it was this, this, it was just their skills. Sure. Their skills. Like, Paper Thin is one, still one of the uh, top uh, rap. If my wife could tell you. If I uh, went rap from MC Light, I would listen to Paper Thin all the time. No doubt. Uh, MC Light's yeah. my mom's, my mom's um, favorite female rapper. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. She, she, had, you know, she had skills. Yeah. MC Light had skills. True. So you looking at... Uh, Back then, it was more about skills, and you know, it wasn't about a pretty face. It was about you want to talk, sell, you know, what you got in, in that mic, and mm-hmm. what you get, what you can rap about. Now, Nikki, Nikki can rap. Yeah. I like her. I like her. Uh, I like her sound. And so, Kim, Little Kim was, was a top, was a, you know, she was a badass. So, oh yeah, you know, yeah. Car- Cardi. Uh, <laughs> she alright I mean but you know what yeah, I, don't, right. I, don't, yeah. I don't I don't take nothing away from Cardi B you know what I mean because yeah. I mean she's doing a thing you gotta you know what I mean because especially yeah. in a male dominated you know what I'm saying game you yeah. know what I'm saying she's doing her thing and I don't take nothing from her but I just kinda be like yeah. alright yo we, we, we know that you used to be a stripper and yeah everything, but don't I mean you influencing these young girls so yeah and, and, and she's pregnant forget- 
and she's pregnant. Yeah. If she has a little girl, I can guarantee she ain't going to want her little girl to act like that. Yeah, and you people forget about Eve. Oh, people, yeah, Eve you know, was dope. Yeah, you forget about Eve. Yeah, exactly. Trina was dope. Trina was yeah, dope, Trina too. Yeah, Trina was dope. Trina was like, yeah. Trina, Um, you had LaChat. LaChat was from 3-6 Mafia. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, uh, Mia X was from No Limit. Like, it's been a lot of females that's touched on the game, yo. A lot. Yeah. Exactly. I just I ain't gonna lie though. I don't like how they don't get their respect, man. I think females des- deserve a whole lot more than respect. Than you know what I mean? Than they than they. I I can't get my words. I don't know why I do that. But I I don't like how a lot of females don't get the respect that they deserve, man. Yeah. Exactly. I think that is so. Uh, you know. But you like I said, like I was saying, you compared it. Look, at, if you don't, people realize. Go back and check. Women rappers of the 80s and 90s, like, and just listen to them and listen to their skills and compare to the women now. I ain't, I ain't knocking them, but all their flow, you just want to, you know, you listen to almost everything a women rapper had back then compared to now. True. No, you're right. Yeah. Because, like you said, man, um, I think that now we live in a, you know, the social media age and Sex sells so much more now. Yeah. Where it's like, is she sexy? Doesn't matter if she can. Yeah. Is she sexy? And I, I, oh, I, yeah. I feel you. I don't like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like you that. had some that. You had some nasty rappers back then, but they oh, yeah. was like more of you know, they you know, um, they won't try. They won't you know showing everything at that time. They just True. tell you what they do, True. and you know they ain't got to show it to you. They just tell you what they do. So, yeah. No, that's what it is, exactly. man. But uh, it's your boy J Real at the Real Hip Hop Show, man. You know what I mean? But I'm about to, uh, you know, do a little sports connection for. Let sports connection for. You know what I mean? Play the uh, commercial. You know, we gonna go to a commercial real fast. A couple commercials, to be honest. But you know what I mean? <laughs> you, know what I'm you know, I already know how we do at, at the J Real Hip Hop Show, man. So y'all just stay tuned. We'll be back one second. Hold on. doubt no doubt man that right there was i had to play that you know what i mean i'm gonna tell you why i had to play that man because that sports connections for music you know what i'm saying like it ain't just about hey y'all gotta understand hip-hop and uh uh hip-hop and sports go hand in hand that's right you feel me so that right there was sports connection for b oh yeah done by yours truly yeah. man so let's do it man <laughs> j real you already know yeah so hey hey Saturdays at 2 o'clock, Sports Connection 4. Oh, yeah, man. Shout out to Sports Connection 4, man. You already know what it is, man. So, you know what I mean? Like I said, man, I'm just, I don't know, man. It, it, it's so much, everything's so different in hip-hop now. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It, yeah, it is. And I it think is. it's so much more about the money. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's too much about the money, man. And I think that's what kind of... I mean, don't get me wrong. You got, you got to get paid. I mean, come on. No. But why is it so much? Why do you think it's so much about the money? You feel me? I, I, because it's the society, economic and society today and what how people live and how people show. Look at Burvey. I'm, I'm for example. And what he brought, he brought his guys. You know, how you got to chill, you got to do this, you got to do that and stuff like that. And you, you know... I think it's more about the look more than anything. From back in the days, you just people they they dress, but they was they were about entertainment more than anything. The music sounds good. You can go buy. I'm gonna go and I go back. You can, I I think back in the days, I think I don't. You know, people you got to remember tapes. 
Right. People don't remember tapes. You got to remember tapes. When the tape came out, even when you go to the A-Rap store and put it on credit, you got the tape. True, <laughs> so, true. Uh, <laughs> I, I miss, I, yo, you know what? That's crazy, man, because I remember buying tapes. I remember buying CDs, you know what I mean? And yeah. we, we were so happy when that CD came out, man, or that tape. You know what I mean? Uh, so right. happy. Yeah, and, and, but if people can remember and people think about this, every <laughs> tape that you bought, back in the day just about when people came out with new music sounded good almost yeah. all their songs True. almost everything now uh, you got yeah, one song like, come out uh, yeah then you got yeah. you got you got <laughs> 10 songs that you hate and that one song you be like alright now that's cool yeah exactly so everybody you know back in the days everybody's music was dope just a heavy D in the morning oh yeah uh, when they first came out uh, like I said, L F if he fought the MC. Oh yeah. Um treat him like a lady. Um oh, yeah. everybody's music was good. Rob Basin DJ Easy Rock. Oh yeah. Everybody's music was good. So, that was so, every, even things they didn't come out with was good. Right. So your favorite song, your fa- what's your favorite hip hop song? Period. Your favorite like song. It doesn't matter who who made it. What's your favorite, you know what I mean, hip hop song, period. Oh, I got a lot. I, okay, excuse, all right, uh, all right. Uh, Southern House of Cali, uh, uh, Ludacris. Mm. Uh, I love that song. For some reason, I just love that song. Uh, like I said, No Hair Stephan, No The Ledge. Yeah. Um, I love Jay-Z. Uh, Jay-Z, uh, 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 I love like the old Jay-Z stuff. Word. Like song cry things like that. Um, yeah, yeah, classic, classic, classic. Yeah, uh, a hard not life things yeah, like man. that. Yeah, man. Um, uh, yeah. Cat, he was a KRS. Cat, he was a KRS. KRS, KRS normal school. Uh, people don't remember. Uh, Kooji rap and polo gangsta. Yep. Okay. First of uh, all, Kooji rap was like <laughs> w- it was one of the like real first one of the, one of the first gangsta rappers. I mean, yeah. I'm not taking nothing away from N.W.A., you know what I mean? But I'm just Yeah. Saying. Yeah. Um, gang stars, Dweet. Uh, oh, yeah. Dweet, Rest Milk and, the Guru. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was the music. Milk and Gizmo. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it was a lot Deep of rock, music. Deep Rock, Hell, Smooth. Deep Rock, you know Smooth. I mean? Yeah. They was e- EPMD. Oh, man. What? Eric and Yeah, what, EPMD. How, what, Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Eric and Parrish making dollars. Dollars, that's right. Oh, exactly. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, Most, yeah. Yeah. I bought almost all their albums when they first came out. Word. I shot the chair. Yeah, everything. And like, all right, we was in the classic one night, and B. Smith, my former co-host, all right, we got off work, and uh, we was coming home, and the, cl- the classic song came on, and he didn't really know who they were. And I start rapping. I rap the whole thing. He was like, you don't know no damn music, but you just <laughs> rap that whole verse. Because that was classic music that right. I knew. Yeah. And he like, you rap that whole verse. Right. And I'm like, yeah. Because that's, you know, that's what, that was my music. That was my era. Right. And I bought almost all that album. And I think, right. I don't think I missed that album until they let, when they get... They broke up. People don't know they broke up and they got back together. Yeah, you know, they was, the was, they, they, they was, was beefing for a while. Yeah, they was beefing. And they when they got back together, I bought. I didn't buy that last album. But everything, okay. even even the album they went apart, I bought that album when it went apart. Word. Yeah. Nah, that's dope, though. But I, I like EPMD, though. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and he still, yeah, he still, he on, um, I think I just saw uh, I just scrolled through Facebook the other day and he tried to help somebody produce. He trying to get a contest and see if I want to produce some music. Oh, I think I think I seen that, yo. I think I seen yeah. that. That's kind of dope. Cause he's trying to, you yeah. know, what I mean, he's trying to help up and coming artists and stuff. Like that's what he's supposed yeah. to do, you know, give back to the game. You know what I mean? Yep. That's exactly. real dope, man. That's real dope. But yeah, man, that's what yeah. it is, man. It's your boy J Real at the Real Hip Hop Show, man. We ain't want to take up too much time today, man. I just wanted to, you know, talk about, you know what I mean, a lot of, you know, great things that's going on in hip-hop, old school, new school, you know what I mean? Just 
you know, it, and plus, you know, Big T's my big brother. You know what I mean? So I, I had to get him on the show, man. I, I told him I was going to get him up here. And we we, we, <laughs> we, we went through a lot to get this show done, but we got it done. Yeah, we got it done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and correct, had to correct some little issues, but we up here. Oh, yeah, we got it done, man. So thank you for stopping by, man. I really appreciate that, man, for real, man, from, you know what I mean, from J-Real at the Real Hip Hop Show, man. No problem. Hey, look, everybody go check J-Real Hip Hop Show out. Like and share. Let's get the – hey, we're going viral, man. So let's do this. Go ahead and go viral. Like and share. Let's get Jay out there because, like I said, I told him, I told him this. I'm looking at him to be in somebody uh, branch within less than two years that he running his own radio station with the Jay Real Hip Hop Show. So, hey, let's do this, man. Oh, yeah, no doubt, man. Again, man, I, I really appreciate you stopping by. You know what I mean? Just talking to us. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. especially schooling a lot of these youngest, man, because, you know, it, it, it means a lot more. When it comes from, you know what I mean, from the actual the old school. old school. You feel me? Yeah. You know, yeah. so that's what's up, man. It's your boy Jay Real at the Real Hip Hop Show. If you want your music played on the Real Hip Hop Show, send your music in MP3 form to the Real Hip Hop Show at Yahoo.com. That's the Real Hip Hop Show at Yahoo.com, man. Anything else you want to say before we go, Big T? All right, just check us out. It's Stream Radio, the whole family. All right, J Real, J Real Hip Hop Show, Extreme Sports, you want Big T King, C's Marvin's Met, uh, Sports Connection 4, uh, Chatting Up with Lady V, Street Stories, E Double Ministry, iTunes, YouTube, uh, SoundCloud, Facebook, everywhere, Spreaker.com, slash Big T, B I G T T Y M M 72. You can check us out. No hey, doubt. Like and share, baby. No doubt. That's what it is, man. I really appreciate you again for stopping through, big bro. That's what's up, no man. Problem. We gonna just uh, we gonna roll out, you know what I mean, and, and and just do our thing, man. We'll play a couple commercials for y'all, and we just gonna say goodnight for the night, you know what I mean. So salute to you, my brother, man. Appreciate everything. Man. No problem. All right, my dude. All right, you too, man. What up, what up, man? This is Jay Moore representing the KNC. Shout out to Jay Real doing this real hip hop show. Shout out to all the artists that's sending their music and everything else. 252 stand up. Let's get it. Let's go. Basketball, football, soccer, college, pros, high school, all of the good sports news will be brought to you by none other than Sports Connection 4 with your host, LC, co-host, KD, Al, and Pete. Stay tuned to Spreaker.com on Saturdays. At 2 p.m. if you want to hear all about the Sports Nation. Again, stay tuned on Saturdays at 2 p.m. if you want to hear all about the Sports Nation. You can hear us on Spreaker.com, iHeart, SoundCloud, iTunes, Facebook, and YouTube. Again, Saturday, 2 p.m. Spreaker.com will be none other than Sports Connection 4.